Hello, everybody. It's Charlie again, and I'm currently playing Street Fighter 6. And yeah, just happy to be back. As you guys saw in the last episode, I was playing the World Tour mode, which is a mode that I really enjoy. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it as well. But I kind of just wanted to show you guys some of the cool stuff. I'm going through it for the first time. Well, not for the first time. I guess the second time. Um, not the whole thing, but just the first part. Um, and trying to discover different things. As you can see, I got a change of clothes because the stats change if you change some of your shirts from pants and, you know, hats, whatever you decide to wear. But yeah, other than that, let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, we're back. And you can see the streets are rough. Got a level 20 over there. Damn. They're, they're, they, the game recognizes your level, so... What? Kidding me, right? I couldn't break the box. Hey, you want to fight? <laughs> oh, he's only two levels under me, so he probably put up a fight. Oh, all right, dude. Here, Chung Lee taught me that. Think you can dodge? Holy shit! I got beat up for the first time. What in the fuck? No, rise up, buddy. Let's go. I got full health now. You can try me now, buddy. What do you think this is? Oh, okay. Yeah, so make sure your health is good. I don't know why I didn't go get health before I did this. I forgot that I I didn't do it in the last one. There you go, you think you can dodge? That's Kyokin from Chung Li. Yeah, and I figured out how to equip the moves. I'll show you guys in a bit. There is a process to equipping things, which I didn't realize. Oh, really? See? Higher level, tougher dude. This is tough. Oh. Oh. I got my I got my get back. Damn, so yeah. It's up for opponents. And this area looks like it's a little a little more thugged out, you know what I'm saying? Well, let me break this box. Sometimes you find like cool shit in these boxes. I don't know why they wouldn't let me break this one though. Oh okay. I was hitting it from the wrong angle, so yeah. If that happens guys, give it a second shot. Look at this guy. What? Oh, he wants to fight. Let's go. Bitch. Let's go. See, this street's a little rougher. Oh, but he was trash. So I guess he's with a group. Whenever a dude is with a group, they're usually weaker than alone for whatever reason. That's what I noticed. If they're part of a gang, you're going to be weaker because you're going to be fighting more than one, you know? What? What the heck is going on here? What are you guys up to? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, she's level 20. You know that's just going to be hardcore. I probably should get some health, though, before I continue. I know I have items, right? Hold on. You got to use your items, too. My friend told me that this is important. Oh, no, my health is still good. Okay. Yeah, I just leveled up. That's why. Whenever you leveled up, you get your health back, so... Hmm. Let's keep on. Uh... Oh, you can't go that way. Okay. That's the end of the road right here. There's nothing to go beyond this point. Gotcha. <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see, they're, they're large areas. And basically in, you know, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot style. Where... They're just really large areas, but still, guys, this is a lot for a fighting game, right? It's like something so unexpected, honestly. Uh, I'm going to stop being a fangirl. <laughs> but yeah, it's true. It just makes you excited, you know? One more level 20, you won't fight? No, that's not the dude that was sitting there, right? <laughs> I wanted to fight that one dude with the tats. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. What the fuck is that? They got robots trying to find me? See, and then you... See, that street is supposed to be the higher level street. I can tell. Because look how we just walked in here. And now we see, look, level fives. Huh? They don't want to fight. Even the robot's scared. <laughs> Get the hell out of the way. Okay, I'm going to try to open them. So if you want to feel better about yourself, you just go back into this side of town. <laughs> oh, what? You guys look... You guys... What, what do you want? You got beef? Oh, he's, he's looking somewhere else. That's what I thought. And she's just shaking in general. Hey, man, what's up? How you doing? But, yeah, so that's the only thing that I noticed, you know. Even though this shirt isn't that bad, sometimes you want to wear whatever you want and still get the stats. So that's the only thing. If you guys don't like that, then that's just part of the game. I'm saying they're terrifying. When you hit that level 23... It hits different, you know? <laughs> uh, we gotta go back to Chung Lee's place, though. I kinda just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff now that I... Oh, also, there is another thing. If you... When you hold... When you hold this, basically, you do some of your special moves to break some of that stuff. There's also other stuff... Um, Man, I wish I would've done it in the last episode, but I'll show you guys in a second. Some of it is in the trailer... Or the advertising for for the world tour, and some of it just they never put in. So I don't remember which way that was. Hold on a second. Where's the Times Square? I'm guessing the Times Square is like right here. Oh no, let's go towards Chung Lee better. So it is this way. But yeah, it's like bro, it's it's just so cool, right? You feel like a street fighter. This time for real, you know? It would have been cool if they would have given you the option to play. Or maybe there is an option to play with the Street Fighter or cast. But, you know, I don't know. Let me go ahead and... Oh, I, okay. This is definitely where I was at. Perfect. You can just retrace your step with the chest that, you, that you've opened. This guy is juggling fire. See, the levels went down. So, yeah, if you guys just want to, like, level up in a more safe area you you can or you can go straight for the you know the tough guys this dude has my shirt hey dude what the fuck <laughs> but anyways um there might even be other outfits now that i think about it you know why not let's go check what if i unlocked oh no no i haven't unlocked anything yet there might be another store somewhere on the other side of town maybe Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, find Chang Li now that we're situated into where we're supposed to be at. Okay, so it's this way. <coughs> I forgot the purple icon on the screen. <laughs> Sometimes you ignore it. But. Uh, wait. That's weird. Did I get lost all of a sudden? Maybe I went the wrong way. Ah, I passed it. Okay. I'm facing the wrong way. It's this way. But if you look at the design and the art style in the buildings, it's really cool, man, what they did. I love it. I really do. I disrupted their breakdancing. My bad. They're terrified. Jungle is probably in the other direction. Let's, let's talk about this, that's why. There's no talking about. Sometimes I'm in a bad mood and I'll just like walk up to them and just whoop that eye, you know? I should be right here. That was, I was probably close to it and I went the wrong way. But you see how everything changes? It's really cool shit. But if you go. Wait, I'm going to do some exploration. I need to show you guys something that I couldn't show you in the last one. Just a little um, thing that I'm, some of you probably already know, but I was shocked by. I was surprised. Because I was like, how, do, how am I going to get to certain areas? You know, it doesn't make sense. So this is what I noticed. In order to get this cash though, you hit these. You break these. You make yourself some space. 
And if you want to go across, you do this and choose a Chun Li spinning back kick to get across. That's pretty funny, right? <laughs> so you can get the rest of the cash on this side. Don't hit these barrels; they they'll take your health. I think. It's kind of messed up that we're just basically vandalizing everything, but, you know, it's part of the game. Spinning back. And this guy's just hanging out in the rooftop. That's really cool, bro. But yeah, I just had to show you guys. I think I got a lot of, a lot of the items when I figured it out. But yeah, we'll do more of that at some point later on. But right now, we need to figure out how to progress, so... We gotta make sure... Okay, this guy. This is the only person we haven't spoken to. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? A new student, eh? What do you say to a little spar match? Yeah, let's do it. That stance is all wrong. If you want to spar, switch to Chun Li's style and talk to me again. Oh, see? Okay. This fight forces you to switch to her style, so... Let's go ahead and do that. It's in status. And then you go here. You just switch to Chun Li. The only bad thing is you can't remove the way she moves, you know? So, like, if she's, like, a feminine way, you'll see him probably move that way, I'm pretty sure. Let's go. He's at level two. He's done. This fight has ended the moment it started. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Well, her moves are cool, actually. Nice. Yeah, she taught me well, dude. <laughs> oh, but it didn't count because it has to be within within the talking perimeters, I think. See? It has to be specifically... But at least I got to beat his ass twice, right? <laughs> he might be tougher. Oh, really? Oh, he couldn't dodge, see? There you go, using Chun Li style. Dang. Or you can make some moves like I did earlier, like you guys saw I was using her Tosho, I think it's called. How was it? Could you tell that you and I move the same way? That's because we're both using Chun Li style. Given that we're her students and all. Even if you're doing something as simple as throwing a punch, the movements change entirely from style to style. Picking a master whose style is a good fit for you is one of the fundamentals of success. Oh, and if you prefer Luke's style, you can always switch back to it from your status app. Yeah, I'm going to switch back to Luke because I am using already one of Chun Li's moves. I kind of modified Luke's style. Like if you go here, where, where is it? Special moves. See, I added the Kyokin, which is Chun Li's fireball, to two of Luke's moves. Because I do like Luke's move. It's more of a brawler. And this is basically the skill chart, which is I, I put I put some of these points on there. I didn't realize I had too many points, as you can see up there. You can just find out what helps your level if you look on the side here. Kick strength. And you'll see what boosts your stats up a little bit. Like punch strength is something I would definitely do. Let's see, throw strength, unique attack strength. So I'd probably do punch punch strength. That's five. Wow, they're taking more points. Okay, as you go up. And uh, unique attack defense. I should probably do a defense one, right? I don't think there's one available. But yeah, guys, that's basically the gist of those. And now I got to talk to Chung Li. My gorgeous Chung Li. She's so gorgeous. Jesus. Well, have you had a chance to talk to the other students and learn about apprenticing? I know you're currently trying to master my style. But I can't say for certain whether or not my techniques will be a good fit for you. <clears throat> Only you can discover the style that's truly yours. I agree. And the only time you can do that is in combat. Yeah, well, I like your Kyokan, so I, I'm using that. 
Goodness, our new student is serious about training, I see. Really now? Lee Fen. Ah, uh, if it's alright with you, would you mind keeping an eye on Lee Fen for me? Oh, uh, we're gonna have a buddy? He has like a pixelated shoe there. You see the bottom? <laughs> She's quite talented, but I fear she lacks direction. Seeing someone diligent like you might light a fire under her. Thanks. I'm already somebody's mentor. I guess. Talk to Lee Fan. Let's see. What are you doing on that PC? JJ is always nagging me about being on a computer all the time. I wish she'd get it through her head that I'm a white hat hacker. I'm not just watching FooTube all day and on here. FooTube? And I mean, it's not like I don't like training or anything. I'd love to get ripped like you guys. Oh, on that topic, there's been some guys causing trouble around here lately. They call themselves the Canary Crate Gang. <laughs> I think I know they are. I, I guess because they wear yellow cardboard boxes on their heads, exactly. Whatever the case, they've been attacking people at random. If you're looking for an opportunity to test your skills, you could do that on them. What do you say to going over there to their turf and taking them down a peg or two? Now that you're Chang Li's student, you can use a spinning bird kick, master action, right? With that, you can spin your way into action against the Canary Creek gang. They hang out over on the street to the west and wear yellow cardboard boxes. You can't miss them. Yeah, I've used it already. I just, I wanted you guys to see more of the, the story, so... Even though I didn't, uh, I did some board breaking on last episode, so we're gonna keep going. Let's follow up and look for some trouble. Oh, dude, I'm a level 23. You crazy, bro? You about to die? There you go. Chung Lee says hi, bitch. <laughs> and I used the Kyokin on purpose. Yeah, you suck, bro. Who are you? Oh man, are we getting raided again? You're about to get murked, bro. You think I'm, I came here to play? Oh! I'm letting them hit me because they don't really... What are they going to do, really? I mean, they did take quite a bit of health there. I don't realize that. I need some defense. See? My stats are low for defense. Come on! We're just an up-and-coming gang that's trying its darnin darndest to be a big deal around here. <laughs> We cry babies. Why is everyone out here looking to ruin this for us? Don't you see how hard we're trying? <laughs> I don't care, dude. You don't hurt defenseless people. There we go. I hit first this time, bitch. Yeah, you're not match for me, dude. Eat that Kyokin. I do like chung Lee's fireball. It's cool. Reality is a tough pill to swallow, that's right. Ain't a great look if people trying to make it as gangster keep getting whooped by regular old city folk. Nah, dude, I'm no regular fighter. But I'll see you later. See you around, loser. <laughs> okay, let's see who else is next. Oh, there's somebody up there. So you go on little, like, missions, cool. Yeah, okay, <laughs> I didn't... See, because I, I did it, I figured it out by myself, so it's kind of funny. But I think we're going to get into a fight up here. Yeah. We wear these cardboard boxes on our heads to show the world just how serious we are about the gangster life. Well, you look ridiculous. <laughs> if that doesn't convince people that we mean business, nothing will. Right. That's it, look, look, I'm on it right now. Oh shit, he dodged it. That's cool. He's a little bit more of a tough guy. Oh, dude, it's over. Oh shit. He's actually taking more blows than I thought, okay. 
He's a level four? I'm like, how? Well, I had to slam him up a little bit harder. So imagine if I wouldn't have leveled up. That would have been a freaking insane fight. But then, oh, we're having a full on match. Now we're talking. Think you could dodge? Yeah, I don't have to fucking school him. Whoa. Ah! Uppercut to the mouth. Man, I love this mode. This is so much fun. What's your deal, Dipwad? You a friend of the guy from earlier? Boss or whatever? Oh, Boss is here. <laughs> came at us not as long ago just like you're doing right now well they've been getting their ass whooped did he drop his ID whoever that boss guy was he squeezed us for info on mad gear and then bounced you've heard of them right they're one of the gangs in this town boss wanted to know where they do business I heard Mad Gears in bed with some huge organizations. Apparently, Bosch wants to swipe whatever cash is supposed to get passed around in the process. Oh, he's kind of shady. So I told him, of course, if you want to get your ass killed, by all means, be my guest, break a leg, maybe even a skull. If you're going after that fool, too, let me fill you in a little something. The deal's gonna go down at night in an alleyway on the south side of downtown. Why don't you swing by? Might even get to catch a glimpse of your pal mangled corpse. Oh my god. Bro, you, you need some help, okay? You need some milk. You can now play Kung Fu Target on a new difficulty setting. So that board breaking thing, basically, we can do it on a on a hard mode. That was kind of cool, man. There's a lot of cool stuff in here, man. I don't know. You guys tell me. What do you think about this 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 world tour mode? I think it's quite. I think it's quite good. I think it's a genius idea, honestly. Obviously, they'll expand on it. Whatever you guys think, you know, whatever the shortcomings there are. I'm sure it'll get better, guys. I know some people complain that it wasn't the greatest stellar. Listen. Those who practice martial art define its meaning. Many people find they gain self-confidence as they train, but that confidence can also end up putting them in danger, putting you in danger. Some have even lost their lives because they got overconfident. After just learning the basics, did anything like that ever happen to me? No. Martial arts have definitely been a positive in my life. But for you, what role will they serve? That's something you have to figure out for yourself. Nice, Chung Lee. She's so wise now. And Chung Lee's like a grandmaster. She's in her 50s, so it makes sense. I think she's born in what, 67? According to Street Fighter Lore, maybe 69. I don't remember. What the fuck? Look at the kill time till sundown. The city's not the friendliest place to, at night. Just FYI, Dev can't recommend wandering around like everything is okay. But if you've absolutely got it, there's an apartment over at Beat Square. You can use it as a hangout if you want. Buckler owns the place. It's kind of like a rest stop. Pretty damn good place to pass the time. And the perfect home, based if you're on the road. Cool. Thanks, Luke. Luke has turned out... Honestly, I thought he was a lame character the first time I saw him, but he's really... He, you know, I'm, I'm, he's not as bad now. I don't see him the same way. Who the heck is that? Is this Chun Li's cousin? Damn, girl. In here, you can't even play that way because you get your ass knocked out. Everybody can fight. <laughs> Let me break these boxes. Let's just take it easy. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, dude's shaking in his boots. He knows what could happen. Have I climbed this one? You gotta check, you know? Ooh, 28. You don't know that dude would Yeah. That's danger right there. I think I saw him last time when I was on my way to Chang Lee's place. There's got... There's got to be a reason why people want to come here. But anyway, it's uh, pretty cool. I know I showed this area earlier, but I just really like areas like this, you know? You just chill at the rooftops. Obviously, in the wintertime, it would probably be the best place to chill. Oh, shit. Well, that wouldn't have been good, right? Wait, what? Oh, I can go across. Duh. Spinning bird Spinning bag kick. Oh. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me, and it took some health, too. I thought I was dead, guys. I guess that shit can get dangerous. You can't just parkour like that. <laughs> okay, we're going in here. Hey, you got a minute? What? Hi there. What's up? Influencer? Uh, influencer. Coming at ya. Footuber at large. Or that's the plan. I'm just starting out. That fight you had on the rooftops in Chinatown earlier was off the chain. <laughs> that's what they call an all-timer. Hey, if it's cool with you, mind if I use footage of the fight for a video I'm, I'm making? Sh um, shit, fuck it. Diggity. In real life, I'd say no, but it's a game. I don't care. We doing this info freaks. You got something on tonight? Like, tonight? Stand back, into freaks. We got a badass here. For real. Though you look like you're only getting stronger, and something tells me my audience will eat that right up. Cool. Mind if I borrow your phone so I can plug in my contact deets? And done. So, still getting the hang of things around the city. Hey, no problemo. I'll tell you everything there is to know. So the title of today's video is right. Extreme FooTuber Meets Extreme Fighter. Aw oh, man. I probably should have said no. What's up, Info Freaks? Yeah, I thought he was gonna talk all day. I was like, come on bro, save it. Oh, but I made a new friend. I just had a message you. The first time I saw you, I got goosebumps, like for real. Like there's zero percent chance I don't end up famous. And just like for the record, I was your first first fan, the very first fan, all right. I got here before you blew up. Oh my god, that's funny. I know this kind of people. <laughs> you gotta love them. Okay, we're going in. You can change the time of day, okay. Rest until when? What should we do, guys? I kind of want to see the city at night. <laughs> I want to see how unfriendly it is. Oh, yeah, you've been making sure to check out shops. You bought those caps for, with Bosch, right? Do more of that. Kind of goes without saying, but each of you... Oh my god, that's too much. Hold on. Let me bring it. Scroll it down. Luke, you gotta slow it down. Kind of goes without saying, but each store sells different stuff. They even get new inventory from time to time. Poke your head in occasionally, and you might find some new gear to make you stronger. So basically, training is about more than just hitting the gym day after day. Food for thought. Okay. Yeah, the, basically the gear changes your stance. Oh, this is nice, guys. I'm going to try to get myself into some trouble out here. Wait, what? Okay, so the now the icon is over here. Oh, really? You guys want to fight? Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah, he's right. It's crazy at night. Oh shit, it didn't go all the way. I'm not an expert yet. Because I think Chun Li's goes all the way, right? Oh. Fuck. 
fuck out of here, bitch. They don't know who I am. That's the thing. I've been training for this shit. I still got to find a place to eat, but yeah. I got wrecked. Wait, what? Oh, that was the bridge I was at. You guys want to fight? Oh, these guys aren't scared, even though they're at a low level. Okay. That's cool. Even night fights? Are you kidding me? I love this shit. Didn't I tell you not to fuck with me? I'm having a fucking ball doing this. <laughs> I could do this all day. Sounds good. Come on, motherfuckers. Let's go. Think you could dodge? Let me see how strong this is. Oh. There we go. Gut punch. And what are you doing? Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. I'm wrecking everybody, dude. Everybody. I'll probably come up against somebody that will probably gonna kick my ass if I keep bragging. These guys are very low level and they're still... They can still take a punch, you know? They're everywhere, dude. The fuck? Everybody's getting trashed. No, that's pretty much the whole game right there. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go upstairs. Whoa, hold up there, Buster. This is Mad Gear Turf. If you ain't got business, point yourself in the opposite direction and get lost. Uh, you do have business. <laughs> like I care, shove off. Alright, dude. Let me give you a nice ass open. Here. This is from the heart, bro. You guys want to play? You think you can dodge? Huh? Oh, look. Oh, shit. Alright. You gotta practice the new moves, right? This is awesome. Yeah, get the fuck off. But yeah, at night is crazy. You're constantly gonna be. Oh shit. Bosh. What are you doing here of all places? Oh, he is stealing money. Found yeah. Fuck out. Oh, we're ready, dude. They're basically like Ken and Ryu, but, you know, different. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's teamwork right there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you tell they went to the same school. Their winning pose is the same. <laughs> both gotten a lot stronger. Hell yeah. Coach was right. If we stuck together, it really could have been something. I'm really sorry. I still have something important I need to do. Oh shit. No time to explain. Stay away from me, got it? You didn't see me, just get out of here. Hey, you uglies! Over here! Stand back here! Oh, cool. Okay. I would've whooped their ass, though. They don't want none of this anymore. Wow. You know that guy? You got something going on with him? <laughs> I mean, that's none of your business, but yeah. Yeah, and? He just stole it. So 
you're gonna tell your buddy to bring it back safe and sound. <laughs> Is he trying to intimidate me? You gotta be kidding me. It's like now. How about now? Don't listen to her. They should give us a fight fight or no fight, and then just fight like a whole group of them. <laughs> New content has been added. Mission completed. The nightlife of Metro City. Cool. See, so they did want me to go out at night. They didn't just outright tell me, but I had a feeling, you know? Wait until daytime to hang out. Okay. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Bro, what? You guys think I'm playing? What did I tell you guys, huh? On top of each other, how about that? Little people sandwich I just made. Fuck off. And now I gotta get around the block. To the other side, okay. I gotta switch it up to daytime. Let me get that money though. What? I don't have to stop to fight them either. I can outrun most of them if they don't attack me first. Like if they don't catch me like cornered or whatever. I can't get that box for some reason. Should I destroy it? The thing is if I hit those, it blows up and then... Let me go get food first. I got no health. Damn, the Times Square area. Look at Metro City. Metro City is nice. This dude, dude, you work too hard, bro. When you When do you go home? I got a lot of money, so let's buy the most expensive thing on the menu. Classic donut. Thanks for stopping by. That's what warriors eat. They eat classic donuts. You know what I'm saying? Well, this is awesome. I just love it. I love this. All right, daytime it is. No, wait. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes, yeah, daytime. Mom kind okay, of did. They worked right away. It worked so fast on the PS5 that I'm like, what? Did it change? Hey. Thanks. Thanks for your service. Thanks for your service. Ooh. He's one of my goals. Hold on a second. What? Looking for someone, are you? You got a picture? So this is him, huh? Hmm. Well, I've got, I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news, there's nobody who looks like him in our morgue at the station. <laughs> The bad news, I haven't seen anybody who looks like him anywhere else either. Damn. But, besides this guy. What is it? If your friend was looking to get away from Mad Gear Gang, he may have gone to Chinatown. The Canary Creek Gang that hangs out there could barely hurt a fly, but they're enemies of Mad Gear at least. And these are mad gear? I've been whooping on these people since I got here. So, it looks like we gotta keep going. And, oh, I forgot to show you guys the items real quick. Wait one second. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Not the items, the status. When you go into status and you go into gear, this is where you get... The stuff that you've acquired. Some, t some of it you bought and some of it you've acquired on the street just from fighting. And there's different outfits, eh? But this is the best stats. Anything else is worse, so that's why I'm wearing that shirt. Training pants, that's, all, that's the only pants I have. And then only training shoes. So yeah, you could change the training gloves too. Oh, I got glasses? Hold on, what does that do? It doesn't do anything. He kind of looks like Charlie. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know I had, I had glasses. Huh? But yeah, guys, there you go. Ooh. Wait, what? Oh, I had to use a spinning bird kick for this one. I'm used to Chung Lee saying it. Spinning bird kick. He just goes, spinning bird kick. Oh my god, okay. 
not a lot of you know exciting excitement behind those words wait in here no we can't go in there there's got to be a way to go in there those guys are terrified of me is all <laughs> we'll do one more area why not yeah you guys want to fight oh ouch Oh, they block a lot. Okay, this is a block. This is a let's block group. Each group has like their own thing. I've noticed when you fight, almost like it's almost like a long ass tutorial. Everybody's getting slammed. One slam on the concrete, guys, and it's it's a wrap for anybody in real life. There we go. Oh, level tens. A little more of a challenge. I'm, I'm cleaning up the streets and I got see you get items like that just got a leather jacket that may improve my stats later I'm trying to get somewhere you guys keep disturbing me all right she wants to fight so we're gonna do this Oh, that was easy. Never mind. So she's supposed to be hanging out in the group. Whenever you see they have low health like that, that's what it is. Oh, she don't want to fight. Okay. Smart. Well, at least I got to this. I've been wanting this. Oh, cool. It's a new accessory. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Well, the rest of the gang came back. That's a brutal move. Yeah, that brawling style is just—it looks better when you're doing street fights, honestly. Now, if I could get some of the other street fighters, street fighters to train me, I might change things up a little, you know. But I don't know yet, because I don't know. Wait, what? Oh, I think somebody was running after me. It's like. How did I end up going the wrong way? I was in the right place, right? Maybe that was part of it. You just had to pick fights with those guys. That karate studio closed down. Yeah, they know not to fuck with me. They're terrified over there. Yeah, that's what I thought. So he, so he's probably here somewhere. What the fuck? He's on the rooftop? Okay. Let me see how much time I got. Yeah, we'll just do this last part here. Because I think we got enough time, and honestly, I don't want to stop playing. <laughs> it's just a lot of fun. Oh, I jumped over it. I guess, okay. Oh, shit. No, but there's no way to get up there through there, so... It was pointless what I was doing anyways. We gotta take another... Way there. Oh, uh, no, we can go up through... He no, we can't. There's gotta be. You, you serious? You wanna fight? Dude. You guys need to fuck off. Trust me when I tell you, you don't want this fight. Oh, right there. Oh, come on. <laughs> All of a sudden, I, I activated the running. I still don't know how I do that sometimes. Like the extreme sprinting. But I'm pretty sure Bosch is all the way up here. This dude doesn't want to fight anymore. But it looks like this is the guy we're supposed to be talking to, so whatever. You're asking us where Bosch is? 
Why the hell would any of us know that? Well, whatever he is, wherever he is, I can't believe he actually went and raided the metal, the Mad Gear gangs. I right? let's see Metal Gear. Talk about cracked. He might be the most unhinged dude alive. And that's the bag he made off with. Hmm, alright, how about this? I don't know where Bosch went, but I might be able to help you with your bag problem. Or rather, I know somebody who can. Get yourself to Skywalk Lane and track down a counterfeiter. Okay, so the mission continues. And and we get to watch some breakdancing as we uh, end the episode here. But yeah, guys, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff to do. Get yourself some cool clothes and make your stats better. And don't forget your skill chart. <laughs> but yeah, guys, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe when you get a chance. And like I always say, cool game.